The Sand Hills is often thought of one of the most biodiverse, uh, rich areas in the world, certainly in the United States. It can be a little misleading when the average person who comes here and says, all I see is long life. The diversity of the Sand Hills is found on the floor, not in the canopy. And probably the most diverse area in the Sand Hills itself is a little area we call a, a Sand Hill Seep or Hillside Seep. What happens here is we get the same amount of rainfall as most areas, but because of the history of the area, the geology of the area, we have a lot of coarse sands, that water quickly moves down through the soil. Underneath the sand, though, is a deposit of clay, and when that water hits that clay, it can move no further. So what happens in a hillside seep is water will be moving down a hillside, that clay lens will come up close to the surface and shoot that water up to the surface and water being the limiting factor in the sand hills, all your plants rush into that narrow band of, of more of a wetter area than most of it and that's what, where we get these hillside seeps. Now these areas to really, under, to really appreciate and really uh, bring out the diversity, you have to introduce fire because what happens with those is they get shaded out pretty quickly. Uh, you will get a mid-story in those areas and it'll really shade out. As I said, the, the diversity is on the floor. So to really um, lift up the diversity of those hillside seeps, you have to get fire into those. They don't burn as readily, of course, as you can imagine, as the uplands do. So it's a very particular spot to get to burn. But once you do, that's where we find most of the really unique plants that, that make the Sand Hill such a special place.